planting our crops into mature green cover crops usually works really well, but this spring we rained out of the field so long that our cover crop actually died. Then a storm blew it down, creating a tough, thick, tangled mat that was almost impossible to plant through. With the help of other farmers, we finally found a solution that did not include plows, discs, hay balers, or matches. This is how it turned out. We planted these on July 4th because we've had such a wet spring. I actually planted them into really muddy conditions, believe it or not. We got a two inch rain right after that. And I've got some spots where the water ran, where there's nothing. I'm gonna come back over here and spot those in. But everything else looks really, really good. I'm extremely satisfied with the way the beans look. These beans are on 30 inch rows. And I planted these at 160 population because we were so late in the year getting them planted and because I knew I had a crazy amount of biomass to cut through, I think it worked out really well. So this is what Matt Griggs recommended. We took some old disc openers and we torched out some holes for the bolts and the hubs, made that hub area bigger so it'd slip over. And then we took the old row, <coughs> row cleaner blade, stuck it on the outside just for some stability really to hold that thing on. We did have to move this bolt to the rear hole because these were interlocking. Had to kind of reorient that row cleaner, all of those brackets and parts. are up they're looking great um, it's been two weeks you can kind of tell behind me the ground is fuzzy green that's all of the cover crop seed that has come up volunteer from the mature cover crop that we planted into we're going to come in here today and we're going to take care of all of this volunteer I can't let this go all summer I know the rye probably won't get very big but I don't want the competition there. And there are some pigweeds out here that the cover crop did not smother that have come up. Um, they're really small, so we need to go ahead and take care of them too while we're out here. And the mat of trash, of biomass on the ground, is very thick. And the ground is really cool and moist under that. It's going to be a great barrier for this summer heat. July 30th. I'm gonna give you a quick update here on what the field looks like now. It has had one pass of a herbicide and a pre-emerge, and you can tell they're a lot cleaner than they were. Looking pretty good. The amount of organic matter in between the rows is insane. This stuff is thick. It's as thick as I have ever, ever seen. Other than a little bit of volunteer rye or trip here and there, they're in pretty dang good shape, I would say. If you'd like to see everything that failed while trying to plant through this cover crop, check out our cover crop disaster video. And if you'd like to see the full details of how we made this work, check out cover crop disaster part two, the solution. If you like what you saw here, be sure to give this video a like. It helps other people find them. And if you want to stay in touch, follow along with the process. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll post updates as time goes. And if you've got any thoughts, please leave those in the comments below. We'd love to hear them. We really appreciate you watching. Thank y'all.